Hello everyone, welcome to Conrad Stevens Paranormal PI. So I'm going to continue again. I have been playing this. Um, or it is another ghost hunting game, but with a slight difference. This ghost hunting game is a ghost hunting simulator. What's the difference? Now you cry. Okay, where you've got uh, the likes of Phasmo, Ghost Exile, Obsidio, uh, Go. Well, I was going to say Ghost Hunt the Thing, but it's no longer called. Uh, no longer called that, is it? Ghost Ex Extermination Inc. or something now, where they have kind of like structure structure to them. Well, not so much the case, but the goal is you go in, you either exercise, find the ghost, get out. And you have to do all of the running around avoiding hunts there is no hunts in this game this is pure slow build up and it gets you into the game it's a more immersive type game you're not constantly wondering oh crap how's my sanity or do i need like, the lights on um so i have played this before so there is an, a new mission i believe Uh, well, I don't figure out which one it is. Is it that one? No, I'm not being invited to that one. Here we go. So, I haven't been to this level. Uh, uh going off for the time being. I've done quite a few on this, this one. Why haven't I got silver in that? Ah, I'll go back that one. <laughs> but we're going to go to a completely new location. Uh, obviously not that one. <laughs> uh, yes, let's have a look. We're going to dive in. Difference with this is you don't need to build up money day, to get your gear. You get your gear from the start. In their living room, they started to hear a woman cry. They thought momentarily that this was coming from the TV. As they muted the TV, the crying persisted. Being stunned, they tried to decipher where it was coming from. To their astonishment, it appeared to be adjacent to them. After this first occurrence, they have heard other voices whispering things illegibly, as well as hearing the crying again. They stated that the noises have been heard in the living room, the bathroom, and in their bedroom. Both parents have stated they have observed, on separate occasions, what they thought was an object moving through their peripheral vision. They probably would have never given it much thought, but with the other activity they've witnessed, they now believe this is an entity. They just haven't been lucky enough to fully view it. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. <laughs> yeah, put that in minds at ease. Yes, your house is 100% haunted. Thank you, goodbye. There's my bill. Uh... <laughs> so, you can hide the hood. Um... As well, if you wanted to, you don't really need to. There's plenty of screen, you know, and got loads on. So, the thing with this as well is not all the ghosts, not all the ghosts will interact with all the evidence. As in, what do I mean by that? I just mean that you may not get EMF, you may not get freezing temps, you may not get uh, voice recordings, you may not get pictures. It just depends on the uh, on the spirit. So what I've learned is always start off with the temp. I'm going to go into Celsius rather than Fahrenheit because I'm British. And we're just going to have a look around. Now it said that stuff was happening in the bathroom and the bedrooms. Adjacent to where they were sitting. Assuming they were sitting here. I want to say it's probably around about 
Here we're going to get any. Thing happening. You will hear lots of noises. Product placement. <laughs> ah, you see, it's, the best thing with this as well is the vents will also give you lower temperatures. And with EMF. So when the vents kick in, the temperature drops. Well, this looks like it's going to be a whole way ago, so... Doing freezing temps. Switch to EMF. No EMF. The uh, the items, the electronic items, and the wall plugs, the vents, and everything. They all give EMF. So. Don't get fooled if you're looking for EMF and you suddenly get a spike because it'll probably be the fridge or the oven or you get it there, but it's off from off from off the vent. Well, the best thing is as well is the guy actually who you're playing will pick up on the evidence it's yourself so like if you got the camera out and there's something happening it'll take the photograph there's definitely something happening along here and here Oh, here we go. What was that? She's got EMF5 here. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Chasing it down. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, yeah. Notes it gives you. There's only four ghost types so far. Uh, is early access, of course. Um, it'll give you. I've detected something with the EMF meter and stuff. And it'll tell you like, oh, I need more investigation. Or um, usually you get two to three pieces of evidence at the same, or two to three pieces of the same evidence will give you a full, um, a full. Uh, evidence gathering thing at the end so it's kind of it's not like father you don't get uh xp or money at the end you just get like a, a reward a lock some type of thing an achievement it, it's not uh it, it is a proper simulator rather than or we got a list of objectives to do do the objectives get out get the xp get the money level up and so on it's not that type of game. 
Right, so I need to find the EMF evidence again, which was in this room. Ah, oh, it's a switch, is it? The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Okay, so it seems to be definitely hanging around here. Played this quite a bit, so I just seen you know, my fight, didn't we? 
the back over here. I need to get temperature. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's gone up, it's gone up. Come on. Which way are you going? Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. So, again, unlike phasmophobia, you weigh in ask questions by voice recognition. Is there anyone here questions. who would like to speak with me? Let's play that back and have a listen. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Now, um... We'll go through the ghosts. So I've played, like I said before, I've played this for a fair while and think it sounds like it's a residual ghost rather than uh, any of the others. Because intelligence can speak, demons can speak, would have item being thrown with poltergeist so i think it's this i mean fully read the halfway down on the evidence side it's cold spots and changes in the emf are common with these investigations my next one i usually witnessed also so it sounds that we've got to look for next i mean and also get photos so we should be able to get the full the full board uh, on this. Just leaving the recorder on makes for a lot of post-investigation work. So we know that it comes through here. Did I get that? Nothing here worth recording. Hear that? It said leave. I don't hear anything worth recording. It's not my fault, I didn't know. Investigating with the camera Shit, recording all night results in hours of post-investigation work. Once I see a ghost, I'll snap a picture. There is nothing you worth taking a picture of. I'm not going to press record, then spend hours watching an idle video. You I must actively catch video evidence. Shitty me! <laughs> I must actively catch video evidence. I'm not going to press record, then spend hours watching idle video. Investigating with the camera what recording all night results in hours of post-investigation work. Once I see a ghost, I'll snap a picture. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that qualified.
So you know that she goes around here. Seems like the noise has become too faint to record. Oh, turn the light on. I should turn the recorder back on. That's extraordinary audio evidence. There is nothing here worth taking a picture of. You are kidding me. As soon as I hear a noise, I'll press record. <laughs> Seems like the noise has become too faint to record. You'd be having a laugh switching these lights on. I must actively catch video evidence. Here worth recording. I must actively catch video evidence. Wow, I, I took a photo of a ghost. Multiple ghost photos in one night. Amazing. Eventually, did it. Oh my god. <laughs> An intelligent ghost, but we not got any voices. Ah. 
asked in several questions. Right. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Let's play that back and have a listen. We'll go through and ask some questions. If we Is there anyone response. here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Let's play that back and have a listen. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? How many people are here other than me? I wonder if I recorded anything. How many people are here other than me? Is this your home? I'm going to listen to that real quick. Is this your home? Not sure if we're going to get anything else. Well, we got it anyway. See how we did. So we got all the EMF, got all the temperature. I'm a bit doubtful of the rest. We got the photo. Yeah, we didn't get all of the, uh, we still got gold though, uh, which is good. So there was some more uh, audio we could have gotten, but. So, that is Conrad Stevens Paranormal PI. It's on Steam if you want it. Um, we're going to be doing kind of a, a review of the um, ghost hunting games. We've got Phasmophobia, Obsidio, uh, Ghost Exiles, and Ghost Exterminator, uh, exter Exorcism, or whatever you call it. The one that used to be Ghost Hunter Corpse, or whatever. Um, yeah, so they will be coming in future videos. So until that, thank you very much for watching and catch you later.